Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 11. Rounds of strong and severe thunderstorms continue to rumble across parts of central and eastern Kentucky. The very latest with live first alert defender is straight ahead. One after another, storms rolled through parts of the bluegrass tonight, leaving behind plenty of damage. We'll show you the mess in Bourbon County. From trees down to power being out, there's a lot of storm damage here in Harrison County. WKYT News 11 starts now with First Alert weather team coverage. Good evening to you. Thanks so much for being here with us. Many rounds of storms and possible tornadoes left a lot of damage around the bluegrass tonight. And a First Alert severe weather day continues. And you can see all the lightning from our sky cam as a severe storm moved through Lexington tonight. We'll have more on the damage in just a couple of minutes. But first, we begin our team coverage with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, who took us through the afternoon and the night. Yeah, guys, what a day that we're wrapping up across central and eastern Kentucky. One of those days you rarely get in the heart of springtime around here, let alone here into the month of October. Now, Life First Alert Defender, as you mentioned, tracking rounds of severe thunderstorms and possible tornadoes across the region a little earlier. Still a fairly potent band of showers and thunderstorms across southern and southeastern Kentucky. We did have one final severe thunderstorm. Storm warning that was issued a little bit ago into parts of Breathitt, McGoffin counties, and points southeast that has been canceled. So, certainly some welcome news there. Still, though, a very strong thunderstorm showing up from Breathitt County into the southern part of Morgan County, east side of Campton, into Wolf County. That is right on top of Salyersville. It may have some pea sized hail with it, torrential rains, and a ton of lightning, but that is no longer considered to be severe. Get into Richmond, down toward Berea and Point South. Showers and general run of the mill thunderstorms. It may have some pea sized hail. These are no longer considered to be severe. And that tornado watch that was in effect for the area has now been canceled. So that is even better news. The overall line is just ahead of a weak front that continues to work its way from north to south through the area. As that front makes its way through our part of the world, it's ushering in some cooler and drier air across the northern half of the state. That cooler and drier air is going to overwhelm the pattern. That's a good thing as we go into later tonight and for your Wednesday because that actually means tomorrow is likely to be a dry and a calm and a very nice weather day. But look at the damage left behind. These are just some of the initial reports. Every icon you see here. A severe weather report coming from the National Weather Service offices covering central and eastern Kentucky. A lot of other reports will be added to this in the coming days, and we're likely, guys, to see a couple of tornado confirmations coming from the Weather Service. They'll be out tomorrow into especially, I think, parts of Bourbon and Harrison counties doing storm survey. Even had a report of a funnel cloud on the northeastern side of Lexington. That was with that thunderstorm that we were tracking on our live sky cam and defender a little earlier, but things definitely calming down as we head into the overnight. So good news there. Certainly good news. Thank you, Chris. All night we've been receiving reports of damage throughout the bluegrass, and Bourbon County appears to be one of the hardest hit areas. Yeah, and take a look at this eyewitness video we received from Paris. It shows a possible tornado. Strong winds knocked down trees and damaged homes in Bourbon County, and a storm also started a gas leak, but no major injuries were reported. WKYT's Garrett Weimer continues our team coverage with a look at the damage there. It knocked down trees and knocked out power. This from only the first round of storms to hit the area. And I got to admit, the skies did look very gloomy as I was coming down the road here, but I can't say that I actually seen a tornado, but the skies were very, very scary. Yet as neighbors tried to clean up the damage, they were forced to dodge more storms. It started hailing real bad. It looked like snow, actually. It was hailing so bad that little pea sized hail. The storms blew this tree over, blocking the train tracks, and the lights marking the railroad crossing were also blown over. Neighbors describing the storm saying it sounded like a freight train going by their house. Police say it damaged extensively homes on Vine Street, prompting an evacuation after crews found a possible gas leak. As the sun set on what became a dark night in Paris. I hope and pray that everybody has a good place to stay tonight and Everything will turn out all right for everybody. In Bourbon County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Well, people in neighboring Scott County also have a lot of damage to clean up tonight. Much of the damage is around stamping ground. On Stonetown Road, strong winds blew down a barn and also damaged some homes. One man whose home was damaged tells us he got to his storm shelter just in time. I saw some uh, furniture tumbling. Uh, thought it was just some strong wind. Mm -hmm. But then uh, 
I saw my gas grill start turning. So I realized uh, it was a little more than just strong winds. So uh, mm -hmm. I went to the shelter room. That man tells us friends and family quickly came to his home to help him begin making repairs. Scott County emergency managers also report a mobile home was destroyed by winds on Long Lick Road. But so far, no injuries have been reported in Scott County. Powerful storms knocking down trees and damaging some buildings in Harrison County tonight. You're looking at eyewitness video showing a possible tornado near Cynthiana. Paul shared this video with us tonight. WKYT's Jarek Insko talked to some people in Harrison County. They had a big mess to clean up after tonight's storms. It didn't take us long to find damage from the storms here in Harrison County, and it seems to us that most of the damage is concentrated here along US 27 and 62. I don't think you can ever be prepared because you just never know. It was about the time some were getting off work. I couldn't hardly see the road. That the storms hit and left behind, well, this. We just have some damage to the roof. Some shingles are off. Um, a lot of trees, a lot of our mature trees are gone um, now. And this and that. Right repair trees all over. I couldn't even get up the driveway. The damage is worse for some than others. The garage windows are blown out, but there's no damage to the inside, and we're fortunate the trees didn't land on the house. So we're lucky in that. Thousands without power in and around Cynthiana and even more storms pushed through while they were in the dark. Don't have any electricity, but all good. Blessings to camp. Because all in all, there's a lot to be thankful for. When you look around, the families were safe. They weren't home for the most part. And the tree, the damage is around the homes. So we're very lucky. Nothing about nobody being hurt nor no homes damaged yet. So. <laughs> The next couple of weeks will be pretty busy for people left with a yard like this. We have fall break next week. We're both educators, so that'll give us some extra time to get things cleaned up. People have reported seeing funnel clouds here in Harrison County, but a tornado has not yet been confirmed. In Harrison County, Jerrica Insco, WKYT. And parts of northern Kentucky also reporting damage from tonight's storms. This is what Maysville looked like from the air tonight after a storm moved through there. Police say strong winds caused three tractor trailers to turn over. And gas pumps from the Road Ranger gas station near the AA Highway were tossed into the road. Some cars parked at that gas station also had damage. And police reported down trees and power lines around Maysville. Now, many of you have been sharing your eyewitness pictures of the storms tonight. We really appreciate that. Take a look at this picture from Ann in Georgetown showing golf ball sized hail. More of the same in Montgomery County tonight. Lauren sending us this picture of large hail, about the size of that golf ball, even bigger. We appreciate all the, victim, all the uh, pictures our viewers are sending us tonight. This programming note, if it would all, let me say this first. If you'd like to share your pictures, just go to eyewitness section of WKYT.com or post them to our Facebook or Twitter pages. Now, this programming note, because of weather coverage tonight, we had to move around some of the CBS shows. NCIS New Orleans will air in its entirety after Craig Ferguson. That's at about 1.35 a.m. If you missed a show tonight, you can watch full episodes on CBS.com or on demand through cable or satellite. We now know the names of three people killed in a Scott County crash this afternoon. Police say the crash involved two cars on Stampin' Ground Road between Stampin' Ground and Georgetown. The coroner says 22-year-old Trevor Spencer of Georgetown and his three-year-old son Skyler Spencer were killed in one car, and he says 29-year-old Corey Wilcoxon of Georgetown was killed in the other. Investigators think they know what caused that crash. It is potentially weather related. Uh, what it appears at this time is that one vehicle crossed the center line, uh, striking the other vehicle head on. Police say three other people were injured in that crash. Their conditions are not known tonight. As the American led coalition carries out new airstrikes against Islamic State militants in Syria, Kentucky voters are weighing in. A new WKYT Herald Leader Bluegrass poll finds support for airstrikes. Ground attacks are a whole different story, though. WKYT's Bill Bryant explains new at 11. 
Good evening. It has become the new name in terror. Islamic State militants are creating new global fears. Just today, Turkey says the group is on the verge of capturing a Syrian town near its border, forcing 200,000 people to flee. The U.S. and five Arab allies began an airstrike campaign against ISIS in Syria two weeks ago. Our forces started bombing ISIS targets in neighboring Iraq in August. The new WKYT Herald Leader Bluegrass poll asked Kentucky voters what they think about the airstrikes. An overwhelming 76% say they support the airstrikes. Only 13% oppose the move. But when it comes to sending in ground troops, the support drops. More people, 46%, oppose sending ground troops in. Only 37% approve. The Bluegrass poll found Kentuckians nearly split over whether American resources should be used to train and arm Syrian rebels to fight the Islamic State. And when it comes to the president and his handling of foreign policy, the majority, 57%, disapprove of the job he's done. Only 30% approve. Survey USA conducted the Bluegrass Poll for WKYT, the Herald Leader, and our two partners in Louisville. Bill Bryant, WKYT. And you can find a complete breakdown of all the Bluegrass Poll results on WKYT.com. Tonight, police need your help finding a missing Central Kentucky teenager. 15-year-old Sierra Reinhardt has not been seen since last week. The family members say she walked away from a gas station at exit 95 in Madison County and then disappeared. Police say at this point they don't know what happened to her. Family members say that night they had stopped to say goodbye to Sierra's father, who was leaving to work out of state. She was sad at the time. She wanted her dad to stay an extra night. She gave him a kiss on the cheek and a hug. She told him she loved him, told him bye. She walked around the front of the truck. I had no idea she was walking away. Well, Sierra's mother asks anyone who sees the teenager to give her food and shelter until she can be reunited with her family. She says she will reimburse them for all the costs.